Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. J here with another video today. I'm going to show you a technology featured on the iPhone 5S. It is a fingerprint scanner that is featured on all the devices. Uh, this one here is the Black Edition and as you can see there, the home button is different from the previous models. It does not have a little marking, you know, thing that marks the home button. It is now a fingerprint scanner. And so what I'm going to show you first is how to set that up. You go into your, let's see, go into your settings, go into general, go into passcode and fingerprint. You put in your passcode and you go into fingerprints. And as you can see there, two fingerprints are um, installed onto this device. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add another one and the first time it's going to ask you to place your finger on the device on the fingerprint scanner specifically you just go like so and you just you know keep pressing it in until all the little things are filled up and it may give you some messages and all that just to get that going and then it's going to ask you to adjust your grip And you just you know keep tapping the fingerprint scanner until all the little markings are filled up with that you know pink pinkish you know lines and that's going to tell you that it has successfully um, captured your fingerprint and you press continue and it's programmed onto your device so the only two things you could use your fingerprint is unlocking your device and downloading applications from the app store it is very responsive. I'm going to demo it here. You just place your finger on top of the fingerprint scanner and it opens up your home screen. This also works on purchasing applications as well. Pretty much as a skew to put in your fingerprint on the device like so. And it works like magic. It is an awesome convenient feature. It, that's the only two places you could use it for at the moment is just you know your passcode and you know to open up your home screen and downloading applications later on in the future Apple will you know make this available for other applications but at the moment it's just Apple's control so that's pretty much it for this video if you found this helpful you can give a like rating down below for more videos like this feel free to subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more videos.